This is a Ronnie rig, and I know what you're thinking, hang on Curly, you've already done a video on the Ronnie rig in this series with Gemini. And yes, I have, but that was on the standard one, and this is the low level lying Ronnie rig. But all intents and purposes, you put it together pretty much exactly the same as I did in the previous one, only the actual boom itself has a slightly different swivel on it, which makes it ever so slightly lower level lying, as the name gives away. Now the difference between the swivels is quite a small amount but sometimes a small amount can be the difference between catching the fish you're after and not. We all know that small differences can make a big difference whether it will on your water or in your angling that's up to you to decide but these small changes throughout angling history can make the difference between your catching or not. But before we move on how to actually tie this rig up a quick brief run through of the Gemini tidy booms if you're new to this series and haven't heard anything about them before they come in packs of three like this available from as little as four pound nine p for the three and they come with various different swivels and makeups these ones as I said are the dedicated tidy booms for Ronnie rigs and these are the low level lying swivels and the very swivel at the bottom as you can see doesn't have the big ring that the previous Ronnie rig I tied up did have. Now the actual makeup of these booms are 100% fluorocarbon they have a refractive index rating of 1.42 what that means in basic terms is it's pretty much exactly the same refractive rate index rating as water. So when this goes into the water, it's virtually invisible and really hard to detect. They have a fuse loop technology, so there's no knots involved in these. So they're super strong, which means that that 30 pound breaking strain is throughout. There's no weak point. And there's no wonder that these have done really well because they're super easy to use. They're reliable. They sort of reset themselves nicely, but they're not too stiff that they're a really stiff boom. And they've sold over a million of these items worldwide, which is just proof that they are as popular and as good as they are because you wouldn't sell that many if they weren't doing the job for so many people so let's actually tie up this rig and rather than starting a new one from scratch i'm going to deconstruct the one that i've already made to show just how easy it is to reuse a boom to say that i'd use this rig i'd caught a fish and that hook point was now done i need to change it so all i need to do is take off the hook ring bead or the hook bead sorry which keeps my base screw in position get that past the barb like so take off the bait screw with the bait still attached that's absolutely fine to reuse and then i'm using these little ronnie sleeves rather than tubing you can use tubing to secure these in place but i find that using a ronnie tube like or ronnie sleeve like this means you just slide that off the swivel like so round the bend of the hook pop that off put that to the side and there we have the hook now off so i can change the hook over i can keep the same amount of putty on there if i wanted to because i've got putty on there because it's set for this pop-up the hook bait is all the same all i've got to do is change that hook bait so this is the boom on its own with a little bit of putty on there for this demonstration purposes but there is the low line swivel at the very bottom now this has an open latch on it up to you how you want to hook that on whether you have the latch facing out or facing in i don't think it really makes much difference but say i've just changed my hook i'm going to grab the little sleeve that i've been using is that rain or just walk on off the tree just water coming off the tree, lovely, still got me nice and wet. I'm gonna put one of these sleeves onto the hook, or this is, like I said, where you'd be putting on your shrink tube if you prefer to use shrink tube. Thread that round the hook like so. Get my boom, which I dropped on the floor. And because it's fluorocarbon, it's hard to see, but there it is, my little bit of putty gave it away. Hook that on, whichever way you want. Slide that sleeve down over the swivel. And as quick as that, if this was a rig that, like I said, I was changing the hook, that hook is now back on, that rig's almost done, and that's as quick as that, I've got the hook attached. Now I get my hook ring swivel, or hook ring screw like I use, attach that on. Of course, this one already has the bait on, and then I need the little bead to hold that in position. These ones already have the little board hole in the middle, so they're really easy to slip on. And there we go. That's now slid round through, and we're done. As quick as that, if I just had a fish and all I want to do is replace the hook, what was that? I didn't time it, it's probably just over a minute from that, and that's talking to Cameron explaining what I'm doing. So super quick to change the hook over, and that's now exactly the same as it was before, only you've got a fresh hook on there. As simple as that. Attach that to your chosen lead arrangement setup with a little tail rubber, which will go over the end loop, and you are good to go. So it's quick, simple, effective, and that's all there is to it. I could waffle on, but there's no need proof that the Gemini tidy booms are super quick and simple to use, reliable and the same every single time. So for more information on these or many other booms that are in the range, please do head over to the Gemini website. But that's everything from me to now, for now. Until next time, see you again soon.